and welcome to Winnipeg. Welcome to, it looks like we're going to have a nice sunrise, Winnipeg. Yeah, it hasn't come up yet. Coming up later and later. Um, before I forget, I just, I just went through and read my comments and I replied back to Barry and I said, I'll try and remember to elaborate. Elaborate on what? But Barry asked, well, I've thunked it down, so you, you, you're reading it. Anyway, which one do I like better? Well, yesterday I went out on both. I went out on my scooter, uh, I think three, t three different times. Just trying to, you know, trying to, still trying to get used to it. I've only gone a little over 200 kilometers on it in the last, when did I get it? About a week ago? Whereas the e-bike, I've gone almost a thousand kilometers on it. Now, which do I like best? Well, they both have their, their, their drawbacks and they both have their positives. And uh, <clears throat> I would have to say that uh, the scooter is, is a lot more thrilling. But you're, you're always kind of a little bit uptight, at least I am. Uh, I think if, I, if you were to get relaxed on one of those things, that's when you might get yourself into trouble. Uh, you, uh, with the scooter, I'm constantly looking or, or trying to look behind me. I got to do something about my mirrors. I, I, I got to keep leaning over and it's uh, to see if there's anything directly behind me. Because you don't want to be holding up traffic. I, like, I feel most comfortable riding on that thing at about 40 kilometers an hour. Well, the speed limit on the local streets around here is, is, is 50, and in some places 60. So you don't want to be holding up traffic, and that kind of, you know, that sort of takes the fun out of it. So you're, you're, you're sort of looking for places, you see somebody that's right, right on your tail, and you, you can tell they want to go faster than, you know, 40 kilometers an hour, so you're kind of looking for places where you can move over to let them pass. Uh, and it's all right. It, it's just that it's not as relaxing as the e-bike. Now the e-bike, uh, last night I went out and I went, oh, I'm guessing 15 kilometers on it. I was out for over an hour. And uh, uh, I averaged probably about 18, 20 kilometers an hour. It was a beautiful warm evening. I didn't even have to wear my jacket. Uh, it's we're going to get very, very few of those nice warm evenings, I'll tell you. And uh, I may as well enjoy them while I can. Uh, any, anyway, the e-bike is very relaxing. If somebody's thinking to themselves, you know, I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to do that. That looks like fun. I, I would recommend the e-bike only if you have a good place, good place to, to, uh, to have fun on it. Now I'm very fortunate here, as most of you know that have watched any of the e-bike videos. Uh, I get on the e-bike here at the door and uh, just uh, within about less than a minute, I'm on a beautiful bike path. The only, it, it's not a winding bike path that passes through a bunch of trees and orchards and all that kind of stuff. It, it's, a, it's a straight line because it's made out of an old railway track uh, line that they don't use anymore obviously and anyway you got to be close to a, a place where you can ride it now if you're thinking of using it as a commute like maybe you uh, don't have snow 13 months out of the year like we do here in Winnipeg uh, you can uh, uh, then you want you want the scooter uh, anyway uh, the the scooter uh, let me let me say one more thing when when my uh, brother moved moved to Toronto, he sold me his his Honda. He had a Honda uh, 500 cc four cylinder. Nice nice sounding engine. I like the I really like the sound of those four cylinders. And uh, and I I sold it for two reasons. One was I never really felt safe. I felt very vulnerable sitting on it. Now, I'm not saying I want to get rid of my scooter, that I'm wishing I didn't get it or anything like that. I'm having a good time with it. I'm glad I got it. No buyer's remorse, at least not yet. 
and uh, but but on the uh, on the motorcycle I felt uh, just too too vulnerable and the second reason I sold it was I needed the money worse than I needed a, a motorcycle so uh, okay step 45 yes step 45 we rearrange things and uh, recompose as I say and we're going to get the the hull uh, back on the table here boy that's going to change things I mean we we think that this module is big it's going to this module is going to look small when we drop the uh, drop it down onto the onto the main hull onto the main deck <laughs> uh, but as another viewer said it's going to look uh, much more completed yeah um it, I could make it even look better yet if I was to put the the, the tur little turrets and and uh, uh, forty millimeter gun anti aircraft guns and so on in place. They're they're already made. I just got to put put them down, and uh, that's that's going to help make the uh, final end of the build go fast. But as I mentioned, I I want to wait because there's so much fragile stuff on them that uh, anyway. Uh, Let's let's stop uh, flapping my gums here. What else was I going to talk about? Um, oh, our, our sun came up. Uh, it's kind of hazy again. That's too bad. I'll put the uh, time lapse of this morning sunrise at the end of today's episode, and uh, we'll see how see what I can do with it. It might be good. It might not. Um, anyway, step forty-five. Yes. Okay, step 45. It uh, basically consists, careful, with uh, putting this piece onto the hull. <clears throat> now, I was, a moment ago I was looking at the uh, at the drawing here of the hull and I don't remember doing anything with this with this part here uh, sort of a little a little bridge here on on the bow uh, I, I know we did deliberately leave some stuff off because I was afraid I was gonna you know snap it off later um, what it looks like some sort of hoist for I think it's hoist for the ladders that go the, the gangway that goes down the down the sides. Anyway, um, yeah. And now I we we have to take the screws out. It's being held down by two screws here. There's one here, and there's another one over on the other side right here, going through with the base of a turret that we're not going to see the hole that I drilled. So where's my uh, screwdriver here? Okay, we'll use this one because it's nice and long. Alright. No. I got the wrong size. This is a this is a number one, not a number two. Okay. this is it yes well I guess I'm not gonna get to use my long one and there's one on the other side here very carefully now. Let's not get too rambunctious. Let's not get too rambunctious. Okay, and once this is loose, I guess I'll have to take the hoops off. Oh, this this one here is a number two. I wonder if this will work. You know, I, I am becoming so lazy. I could have used a, an ordinary screwdriver too. 
This one takes the red handle screwdriver and the and this one takes the green. Uh, okay, let's be careful here, Ron. Once the uh, once the hoops come off, this thing is going to be really uh, vulnerable, you might say. So I think one of the I'm probably going to be spending most of today um, rehooping on the uh, on the other dry dock. Okay, enough talk here. Okay, now remember, Ron, you've got no overhead protection for these cords that are hanging down here. Um, I think we're ready to transfer onto the main hull. Let's, uh, let's go get our main hull and set it down here. It hasn't been on the model table for quite a while, has it? What, two months, three months maybe? Okay, all our wires are straightened out here. The uh, chances of the uh, wires being in the right shape for our dry dock is uh, pretty slim. So, uh, okay, let's uh, recompose here. I'll bet you know what's coming, don't you? Okay, um, let's recompose here a little bit and uh, I guess this comes off now. Oh look, I did do that one and, and I did put these, uh, these uh, derricks on. Um, okay, alright, bonus. Less I have to do. I was envisioning myself having to do a little piece of photo etch railing here. Okay, good. Now, I know I keep saying this, but I gotta remind myself that there is fragile stuff sticking up all over the place here. And, uh, yeah. So, move very slowly, Ron. It's been a while since we've seen the inside of there. All right, I think this hoop's going to have to come off. And uh, the one on the front, I think it can stay on. Yeah, I think it can stay on, but this has got to come off. We'll see, I may not have to re-bend that. We might be able to reuse it once once we drop down here. And now, how do I grab onto this and where? I think I can I think I can hold on right there. 
And then, of course, at the front where the hole is, where the turret is, we can hold on there. Uh, I better stand up for this. Right now I'm sitting down. Okay, now watch I don't catch anything on the wire which is hanging down here. Okay, very gently here. I, that should hold pretty good. I'm not touching anything fragile. Yeah, it's not going to break off. And reach over. sit back down. Okay, this this is almost in the way here. It's, you can't see it, but the uh, ship's bell, or one of them, is uh, hanging right there. So, which way does this have to go now? Doesn't want to go down. I know, I know it did fit before, it might be catching on stuff. It could be catching on things like those uh, uh, mushroom vents or whatever they are. Um, I'm just going to have to push stop here and carefully see what's going on. Okay, I'm kind of reaching around the camera here right now. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Um, if I lift this back off, how would it be if I hooked this stern section on first? Like that. Okay, now for sure they're clearing these mushroom vents, and the same on the other side, but I just gotta pull everything forward here. Get it to just, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna have to take and take my hobby knife and go all the way around the that top edge. It, it should fit because we've had this on before and it fit okay. It's fitting there. It's fitting there. It's just right at the very front where it needs to be adjusted. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave the back alone. Yeah. Okay, now, how many times haven't I said very carefully now? Now oh, I can hear a lawnmower going. thought that possibly I can sort of scrape the leading edges. At least that's the plan. I'm going to re want to reposition though. Just, just, just to sort of bevel everything just a little bit. Yep, lawnmower is gone. I got to go move my car.
have such nice neighbors. Thank you, Phyllis and Danny. Doing my grass once again. You know what? I think I'm going to move this. And I'm just going to try and be very careful if that's possible. Now the idea is to just shave shave the corner off here. This may not may not work out at the angle I'm scraping at here. I'm just trying to scrape it off. I don't know if it's going to work or not. You know, I think that the uh, the module was just about ready to drop down. I, yeah, it's it's catching a little bit more than I had. I had hoped. I would think it's probably a leading edge like this that's holding it so that the module can't come forward. But you know what, I'm just going to get the camera out of the way here and, and try and get that uh, uh, pared down just a little bit. I think I can do a much more careful job if I can get in it at it from a different angle. Okay, let's try this one more time. Why is this not going? forward like this. Okay, I, I'm convinced that it is catching somewhere right in here. It's, I, can, I can almost see in there. Um, so I'm putting my left hand up, up at the bow so that it doesn't uh, move forward on me. And I, I don't want to go too hard because I'm going to end up breaking something. It's like I can get one end, but either either the bow or the stern, but the, the other, they won't both go at the same time. Very carefully here now. Why will that not... Okay, I'm going to get a flashlight and look in there, see what's going on. What time we got here? Okay, three minutes after one. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap today's episode up. Um, we're, we're almost ready to turn the page because once this is glued down, uh, and, and my intent is to find out, you know, after it sort of snaps into place, see where where is the high spot, like where there's a gap rather, between the deck and the superstructure and just glue it there. No use gluing it down where it's already, uh, you know, being held in place tightly. And it won't take very much. It's, uh, it, al it almost wants to stay there. Just, just let me give it one more try here. One more try. I'm reaching over top, being very careful to not... Uh, the whole thing's sliding on me. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, call it quits for today here. Uh, maybe I'll look at this this evening and uh, and see what's what. Anyway, I haven't done anything with the sunrise yet, so I don't know if it's good, bad, or ugly. Um, anyway, I'm, I am planning to do the sunrise, so stay tuned for that. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow.